For more videos on people's struggles, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Progressive sections in the city of Amersfoort took to the streets demanding affordable housing on January 30th. Activists from various youth and student groups, feminist groups, trade unions and political parties marched for housing rights on the call of Wound Revolt Amersfoort, a housing rights coalition. The protesting organizations included the Communist Youth Movement, FNB Wachbond, the Socialist Party, etc. Major cities in the Netherlands have been facing an acute housing crisis marked by higher rents, skyrocketing property prices, evictions and homelessness. Housing rights groups have stated the number of homeless people have doubled in 10 years and the housing shortage has exploded. People with low incomes are affected by social housing being sold, liberalized or demolished on a large scale. Especially for people with disabilities, the elderly, young people and starters, there is a shortage of affordable housing. The housing market has not been made for us, but for landlords and by landlords who profit of young people who are getting a start in life. We have been failed and we have been deceived. The Netherlands is not a country of opportunities, but a country of opportunism. The Netherlands is not a country of education, but a country of impoverishment. Various progressive groups have formed coalitions like Wound Revolt in Amersfoort, Wound Protest in Amsterdam, Wound Obstand in Rotterdam, and Wound Verzet in Hague. They are urging local and national authorities to formulate policies to resolve the housing crisis in the country. These coalitions have organized major mobilizations through the last year demanding housing rights, but they haven't received any response from the authorities yet. The coalitions have joined forces and released a housing manifesto with various demands to solve the housing crisis. They stated in the manifesto that more than 800,000 households in the country do not have enough money left over for daily expenses after paying rent. The social inequality between renters and homeowners is still increasing enormously due to the disproportionate benefits that homeowners enjoy. The demands include reinstating the Ministry of Housing, which deals exclusively with policies aimed at realizing the right to housing, combating homelessness as a top priority, ensuring broadly accessible, affordable and secure public housing, expropriation of vacant and unused spaces and curbing the financialization of housing. The Wound Revolt Amos Food Coalition stated that rents are unaffordable as a result of political choices and that investors are buying houses and pumping up prices to fill their own pockets. Different housing coalitions have announced protest actions in other cities of the Netherlands in the coming days and weeks.